Hi, this is Jeff Slavens of Slavens Racing. This is my own personal 2012 KTM 300XC. It's already had the mule treatment done to the engine and the suspension is all modified. Uh, this organization here, Stay the Trail, is very important in Colorado. They promote proper trail etiquette. Front here we have flex handlebars with the rebound system. It's got the Slavens rebound kit, which is the two the two yellows. And the latest BRP mounts and look up here they're stronger than the previous ones. Got our new graphics on the front fender here. The forks have the next level valving with the pressure balance system. <clears throat> I will be adding the tubeless system to the to the wheels here. I just uh, haven't gotten to that part yet. Also have shock socks. This is an FMF gnarly pipe with a E-line pipe guard. The stock pipe also works very well but I smashed it already so uh, this one's on there for now. Got the E-line skid plate. It's got the moose pegs with a uh, half inch rear offset. And then this is uh, one of our new items here, made by CSR. It's badass. It's a different shock top. It gives the sh shock more flow, and it gives a lot more adjustability. There's 50 clicks on the high speed alone. It's very tunable. And then we've got different uh, shock preload rings on there, and it's got a 60 spring on the back. I'm 200 pounds. I run a 60 in the back and 46 is up front. On the rear we've got the Slavens Link Skid. This one uh, is not anodized because this is a prototype model. This is going to be our next generation Link Skid. We've had Link Skids out for over a year now and uh, we we actually get out and ride and test things. You can see this is already been beat up today. There's a company out there that's already copying this product and it's too bad they can't come up with their own ideas. Uh, this is a Slavens original, the Link Skid. On the back I will be adding a brake cooler here. Haven't done that yet, and the tubeless. I'm using the stock muffler this year. It's a nice quiet muffler. I added the Enduro Engineering Spark Arrestor end cap. Why it's very important to keep our trails open. Back here I've got a lighting kit. Put the uh, fender, sub fender on there. And I run the stock seat. I'm tall, I'm 6'3", but uh, I don't like being perched up on bikes. I like to get down into the bike. That's why I use a top mount damper system instead of a sub mount. I'm not a fan of raising the bars. Just put you in a bad position when you're especially when you're seated in corners. Uh, this is a clean speed cable guide. We've got uh, system tech bleeders and fork adjusters. Run Renthal Kevlar grips. On the flex handlebars I run a straight crossbar on the front one and then the damper crossbar on the back. I stuffed my spare tube down in there. I will be adding an odometer to this bike. Inside here, uh, carburetor, it's already been rejetted and it's got a uh, carb wing. Uh, drawn a blank on the name of it right now. Anyhow, the double wing. And we'll be providing a service for that before long to make them right into the carb. I run a stock tank. It's usually good for 100 miles with mountain jetting in it. It's got the Slavens jet kit. The cylinder's ported. The head's modified. I run stock gearing. Front and rear. And I will be adding a TM chain guide. Up front here I have some new, very nice radiator guards. These are by Bulletproof. 
This is actually a prototype set here, a little bit different than what's available right at the moment, but these will come out later. I think that's about it for right now. There will be additions in the future, but the majority of the work has been done at this point. That's all for now. Ciao.